Hello again, witchy people. I thought I'd finish off uh, some of the uh, videos that I've been talking about to do with essential oils and using them in a way to sort of like lose weight and make perfumes and such like. Anyway, uh, there were a couple of things that I forgot to mention in the last videos. Uh, you know, like where you have everything in your head and then you try to get it all down on video and it just psh, disappears somewhere out in the ether and you forget. Well, I do anyway. I <laughs> um, wanted to mention that coconut oil is very, very good as a makeup remover. And if you have bruised skin, evening primrose oil is, is a really nice base oil to use as a massage. Uh, mix it with coconut oil once again. One part, uh, one fifth of the evening primrose oil to four fifths of fractionated coconut oil and <clears throat> that makes a really nice rub for bruises and you can stick um, i can't remember what it is now barrage i think it's very good a very good one uh, but you can put uh, obviously essential oils in to make that better but obviously be careful when you're rubbing on bruised areas of your body so uh I have made the weight loss massage oil. They're all done. I actually made a big, oh, let me reach over and get it. Uh, this is all that's left of my own personal use. Uh, and it smells really lovely. Now, if you're gonna use oils for massage, lovely delicate scent, um, you, you can put the essential oils straight into the uh, base oil and use it. Um, if you're making perfume oil, um, <clears throat> the, the process is slightly different. Um, in the modern world, we have become, we have assaulted our senses, um, with too much. So we expect a really intense aroma from perfumes, a really heavy, intense scent. And really it doesn't need to be do that. We need to retrain our senses to accept the more delicate aromas. And, you know, mixing your own perfumes is a good way of doing that anyway. Working with essential oils to make perfumes, uh, this is what you have to do. You have to kind of retrain your, your olfactory senses to, you don't want that assault, you don't want that overload on your senses. You want to retrain them to get used to the subtleness of the, the scents and aromas. So, the reason why I have not made my perfume blend, as you can see, empty bottles, the bottles are ready, they're just empty, uh, is because perfume oil blends tend to take a little bit longer. And the easiest way to make them, for me, uh, is you make up the essential oil blend. So you put all the essential oils that you're using into a container first. It's best kept in the dark. Keep it covered. Keep it somewhere dark where it's not going to get assaulted by direct sunlight and heat and everything. And keep it covered. And after a few days, uh, you, you'll notice when you first put the essential oils in, they haven't really got a strong scent they need to mix and blend together uh, for their for their aroma to intensify and become more apparent so when you've left it a few days this has been going for quite a few days and it smells delicious <laughs> um that is you know once you it, once that scent's been building for a few days, that's a good time to sort of smell it and see if that's what you like before you start adding the base oil. Um, because if you just put all the essential oils in and then sniff it and say, well, it doesn't smell too much, I'll put some more in and then put it with the base oil and then put more in, it is going to intensify in aroma over the course of a few weeks. It, it needs to develop. So I said, this one's been going, it's been about a week now, and it's been kept in the dark. <laughs> Treat it like mushrooms. No, don't, don't put them, <laughs> just keep it in the dark. Um, and like I said, the aroma is really 
it has changed where the scent and the aroma is, is mixing together the, the essential oils are mixing together they're blending and it's changed that aroma and it's it's really really lovely when this is done and it is almost done I, I think I shall probably put in the oil this evening put in the base oil now this is I think there is you don't you don't want more than a two percent really two two between two and ten percent maximum um, some people do say more but no two percent should be enough because like I said you have to retrain your senses to accept these more subtle aromas <clears throat> when you put the base oil on you have to leave it again for those oils to mix in and settle through the base oil the carrier oil and then after a few days it should be ready then you can start bottling it and using it but like I said with massage oil usually you can use it straight away when you've mixed it up the other thing I wanted to mention about oils is some people say it's okay to use a scent, some essential oils directly onto the skin. The two main ones that people say it's fine with is lavender and tea tree. Please don't. Even lavender and tea tree can cause serious problems if used directly onto the skin and can cause you to have a hypersensitivity towards that particular oil. Uh, <clears throat> I myself am um, dreadfully allergic to lavender it affects my breathing it gives me terrible headaches and i've tried everything um i even went on a course of eating lavender honey local lavender honey uh because okay if if you suffer from hay fever buy local and use local honey because apparently if you use uh, honey that's been made locally it will help reduce your hay fever symptom, symptoms. So I thought, you know, I use lavender honey and that'll be fine. Didn't work. <laughs> it does not work with me. I've tried growing lavender in the garden and it's all like <clears throat> exposing myself to it delicately, sort of bit by bit, gradually. It still doesn't work. I, I, lavender is just not one of those things uh, that I'm ever going to, I, I think, be okay with, which is a shame because you know it, it's used in an awful lot of product so there you go that's my quickie quickie uh, oil update um as soon as i've got these oils sorted i'm going to i am going to sell them in my etsy store i have decided um i'm going to make up just a couple of batches and see how they go and <clears throat> I'll, I'll probably, they'll be in nice little boxes and everything uh the other news i have is um i'm getting incredibly fed up with not being able to remember things and feeling like excuse me oh feeling like i'm i'm wasting my brain so um like i said i recently did a certificated course on um i guess my phone again <laughs> on becoming a certified crystal practitioner which I passed didn't pass with 100% really really miffed at myself with that because I should have got 100% I got 92% I'm not happy uh, anyway so over the next year I have picked three courses I am doing now and they are going to be a course on essential oils uh, aromatherapy now this is all stuff that I know already but I want there to be some proof that I know these things <laughs> I'm also doing a course uh, to become a master herbalist and I'm really really excited about that one uh, these courses are not cheap and you have to if you want to get them at a lower price you really have to you know dig deep search far and wide uh, check that these are you know even if they're not even if you don't get a diploma at the end of it, you sh should get some kind of certification at the end of it, a certificate so you've completed the course and this is what you've learned. So even if it's not a diploma course <clears throat> or a graduate course, you do need to have a course that is in some way certified to say that you've done this course and you've learned something. Uh, so yes, I'm really looking forward to my master herbalism course. I, I want to be a master herbalist, <laughs> officially. 
<laughs> so there you go that is my quickie update and i hope this is slightly more joyful than my last video i now have to i know what the message was uh, my mum-in-law my other mummy my mother-in-law is uh quite ill and she's she's confused that's the only way I can put it. She gets confused very easily and she gets really, really um, frustrated and angry at herself because she knows she's getting confused and it angers her. So uh, she's not being too well. So I'm in the house alone. Everyone else has gone visiting family and my husband's gone off to visit his mum. And so I'm all here alone with just the dog and the cats. I should enjoy it really, shouldn't I? have a bit of a party all by myself uh, but I'm not going to and I'm going to stop waffling on now so thank you for watching witchy people I shall be back soon I hope you enjoyed that little uh talk on oils and making perfume oils an easy easy way thank you for watching bye bye for now <laughs>